This morning's Breakfast Bible Bites comes from Psalm 66 and verse 10, where our God refines his servants as a silversmith. Verse 10 of 66 reads, For you have tried us, O God. You have refined us as silver is refined. Daniel, who was still future to the writer of this psalm, wrote of times even future to us, where the faithful of God are still being tried, as God separates for himself a people with whom he will spend an eternity. Daniel 11:35 reads, And some of the wise will fall victim to persecution. In this way they will be refined and cleansed and made pure until the time of the end, for the appointed time is still to come. The psalmist writes, You have tested us with the fires of affliction, O God, Elohim, God Almighty, as if you were a smelter and as if we were the silver. You have allowed a calamity to come upon us to test our allegiance to you. The word picture of a smelter in silver will become a familiar metaphor for God's people. We can read in Isaiah 48, 8, you have never heard, you have never known, for a long time your ears have not been opened, for I knew that you were very treacherous and you were known as a rebel from birth. I will delay my anger for my honor of my name. I, and I will restrain myself for your benefit and for my praise so that you will not be destroyed. Look, I have refined you, but not as silver. I have tested you in a furnace of affliction. The testing is not without plan or purpose. God's Holy Spirit inspired Zechariah in 13.9 to record these words. I will put this third through the fire. I will refine them as silver is refined and test them as gold is tested. They will call on my name and I will answer them. I will say, they are my people and they will say, Yahweh is our God. In Malachi, the Holy Spirit reveals the end results through the eyes of the refiner. Uh, Malachi 3.2 But who can endure the day of his coming and who will be able to stand when he appears? For he will be like a refiner's fire and like a cleansing lie. He will be like a refiner and purifier of silver. He will purify the sons of Levi and refine them like gold and silver. They will present offerings to the Lord in righteousness. And the offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord as in the days of old and the years gone by. Keep in mind that throughout the scripture, silver is a metal that speaks of redemption. From the posts that reframed the temple courtyard, their silver curtain rings and the tops overlaid with silver, to the silver coins paid to the betrayer Judas. What is interesting in the metaphor of the silversmith and the refining of silver is how the refiner knows when all the dross has been removed without burning the metal by the application of too much heat. The silver is refined when the refiner scrapes away the dross and is able to see his own reflection in the molten metal. This, by the way, is God's intention for all his adopted children. His desire is, is to see a reflection of his son Jesus in each one of us when the dross of our flesh-born nature is scraped away and the nature of his son Jesus is reflected in each of us. Colossians 3.10 reads, And you have put on the new self. You are being renewed in the knowledge according to the image of your creator.